Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Today I'm going to be going through my Christmas bookish haul. So these are all presents that I got for Christmas that are either books or book related. Um, I got quite a lot of books and book related stuff, but hey, that's what I like. So um, I'm very pleased and I'm going to go through it now. I'll do the book related things first and then lead up to the books because that's what we're all excited about. The first thing I got was something I was very, very excited about. We've already spoken about this in my 2016 um, reading resolutions. I got a book journal. I really, really wanted a book journal and I was nervous that I wouldn't get one because they're quite hard to come by over here. Like I, d I, I don't often see them in shops. I've only ever seen them on people's um, booktube channels. But this one is amazing. It's lovely pink stripey and it's got a section here that I've even filled in my own name at the front. It's got a section to do with book clubs, which is really helpful for me. I run three book clubs. I've already started filling it out. I run three book clubs, I run a book club at work, I run a book club on the radio and I run a book club online um, so I can keep note of everything there. Then it's got the books that I've read, so my, my reading resolution for this year is to read 110 books but I think this only fits in something like 66 so hopefully I'll be uh, filling this up quite quickly. Um, also books to read, so um, yesterday I was watching Mercedes Bookish Musings um, book YouTube video about um, what graphic novel she likes and I saw one on there I wanted to read so I filled that in and then a section on loan um, books that you got on loan and then also just a note section Mini. and then a note section where I'm going to fill in about what what booktube videos I'm going to do etc in the new year so that's my book journal really thrilled with that I also got quite a number of bookmark so <clears throat> I've got one here that's got a tiger on it which is very friendly and nice um, I also got a few I haven't got all my bookmarks with me because they're already in books um, but these ones I really liked they're food cookery themed magnetic mini bookmarks which I think are going to be really really helpful for next year next year if you just bear with me Next year I'm going to be cooking my way through Jamie's 30 minute meals and these little guys are just going to be really helpful for, for like pinning what I'm going to, uh, making a note of what I'm going to be cooking and things like that, so very helpful. Well done, David Wood. The next thing I got was a Minnie Mouse book light, which I think is really cute and David got a, what did you get, a Sully book, book light? Yes. A Sully book light, so we're going to be matching book light people. Um, these are really helpful um, for if you're in bed and the other person that is in bed with you doesn't want to read. Um, so you can have this on and it's very, very cute. And I also find that they're good to just, just to have, just to have. Um, I also got two, and the, I don't know if these are necessarily book presents, but I count these as book bags. So they count to me as book presents. And there is a theme, both of them have got unicorns on. This one has a unicorn and a rainbow and it says, my best friend is a unicorn. And then the next one has a unicorn on the front and lots of little unicorns on the back. So these are really great for me to go to the library if I'm going book shopping, anything. They're just really helpful for carrying and you can put them in your bag. This was off of my friend Ryan and Amy um, and it is a uh, piece of wall art with the um, illustration from Matilda in it. I absolutely love this and I'm going to be looking for a frame to, to put this up soon. I'm not even sure where I'm going to put it. Where do you think we should put this? Somewhere where your books are. Somewhere where my books are. I don't know where yet. Maybe up there. I don't know. But I absolutely love this. Matilda is one of my um, all-time favourite Roald Dahl books. And I just think this is beautiful. And they just know me so well. I kept saying I wanted things on the wall. And they got me this. Very good. So now we are on to... Sorry, Minnie. Minnie's frightened. Now we're on to the book sort of thing. So I, the book side of things. Oh, no, hold on. And there's some more paper clips, more bookmarks. Uh, now, I think I've got 17 books. I'm going to go through them now. So the first one is a, um, a short parody, short story that David's sister got me. Um, a parody of The Tiger That Came to Tea, and it is The Teenager Who Came to Tea, a parody. Um, I've read this already, me and David read it. It was very, very funny. Um, quite cute just to have on the bookshelf, and I really like the, um, the... They've done really well with the illustration. It really does look like The Tiger Who Came to Tea. <coughs> Need to start making a pile. The next book is a book that my I work for a consultant uh, diabetologist at, in my job and he got me um, the book that he always asked me if I've read which is um, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. Now I'm told this is a bit like um, The Alchemist which I didn't particularly love so I'm going to see what I feel about this but he absolutely loved it and um, yeah he bought me this for Christmas so give that a go see how I get on with that. Now I got five one, two, three, four, five, five of the modern Penguin classics with the white spines, all from David's mum. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to try and read one of these a month um, on 
uh, throughout the year just to see if I can keep on top of them. The first one is Muriel Spark, the prime of Miss Jean Brodie. Then uh, the play A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. Then Evelyn Wars, Brideshead Revisited. Then two by John Steinbeck, John Steinbeck, East of Eden. And also The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. So she did really well because I hadn't actually read any of these. So um, that's amazing. So I'm going to start by reading, um, oh, I don't know which one I'll start. Maybe Brideshead Revisited, I feel excited about that. But yeah, I got those and they're so beautiful. And I've already got one other of these. I've got the Wide Tiger SoC by Jean Rees. So these are going to look beautiful next to each other on the shelf. Um, also, she bought me a, the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Um, I collect these um, penguin cloth gown classics. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now eight. Um, and I've got them on a little special shelf up there that I just made last night. Um, and I'm going to put that up there. This is really beautiful. It is a white cloth gown with pink flamingos on it. And I've never actually read Alice in Wonderland or Alice in Through the Looking Glass. I've never seen the Disney film, so very excited to read that. The next book is a book by a fellow booktuber, and that is The Bookshop Book by Jen Campbell. Um, this is a book which I'm really, really looking forward to reading. It's really dinky, actually. I thought it was going to be much, much bigger than this. And it's about bookshops throughout the world. I've already had a quick, sneaky look at the pictures, um, and it's just got some amazing bookshops throughout the world. And I love visiting bookshops. There's one here, Atlantis Books in Santorini in Greece. It just looks beautiful. Um, yeah, really, really can't wait to, um, to get into this and read all about the bookshops. Then I've got The Edible Atlas Around the World in 39 Cuisines. Um, this is a book about cuisines throughout the world. Um, it's also got, it just looks really cool. Like this is, I've just opened it on this page and it's got the foundations of each cooking. So France, they've got celery, onion, carrot. Spain is onion, tomato, garlic, pepper. Italy is uh, garlic, onion, celery. And it's just like that throughout. They've got lots of um, recipes in there. I think this is going to be a book that I sort of dip in and out of. Um, dependent on how I'm feeling and what I fancy eating but yeah I've wanted this for a while I've seen it on um, booktube before and I really wanted to read that so excited about that then I've got two books that David bought me in my stocking the first one is How to Be Happy in Brackets or Less Sad by Lee Crutchley um, and this is a creative workbook it's um, a mindfulness workbook which is really lovely um, I say David got me this actually Minnie bought me these uh, thanks Minnie oh, she's um, so yeah looking forward to reading there. that is she, can you see her? Yeah, she's just there. can you see her on the camera though? Yeah. She's hiding. Uh, and then Minnie also got me the Benedict Cumberbatch biography. Um, I love Benedict Cumberbatch. And, oh my God, David, there's only two days until Sherlock. Oh, so exciting. Um, yeah, and I don't know much about him, so this will be interested to, um, to read about young Benedict. Oh dear. Uh, the next two books, and my last two books, are cookery books. So I have Inspiralized. David's sister bought me a spiral... Spiralizer? Spiralizer for Christmas, uh, and this is just a, um, a cookbook to relating to that um, spiralizing. So looking forward to do that. And then the last one was the one that I got in my secret Santa from my mum, and that is the Happy Pair by David and Stephen Flynn. And these guys are um, also YouTubers. They've got a YouTube channel called the Happy Pair. They are vegans. I by um, no mean. I'm a vegan or even a vegetarian, but I do like to have a couple of meat-free meals a week for cost and health benefits. Um, and this is amazing. They're so enthusiastic and all of their food looks absolutely incredible. Um, and I really wanted their book. I didn't think I'd be able to get it because I don't think it's published over here. It's They're, they're an Irish too, so it is published by Penguin though. Um, so I, I put it on my um, my Christmas list thinking it wouldn't, wasn't really gonna happen. But yeah, really looking forward to, re, uh, to cooking some of these and eating them and also check out their uh, YouTube channel if you're looking for some nice vegetarian or vegan recipes, very good. So, yeah. so those are the books and bookish things that I got for Christmas. I did very, very well this Christmas. Everyone was so kind to me. Um, and this is just a small snapshot of the things that I got. These are just the bookish things. Um, so I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. What did you get for Christmas? Did you get any of these books? Have you read any of these books before? Um, and I will see you again soon with another booktube video. Goodbye!